I would be shocked if there is a listener tuning in that has not scrolled, heard something about, seen a headline around glyphosate and how it is absolutely destroying the planet and killing us slowly and we need to avoid it all, all costs. And usually in that conversation is also the GMOs. So that's why we kind of yep. kind of loop that in. And this is something we encounter. Great idea, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, this is something that our the discos have been asking for a really long time is for us to talk about this. And we just couldn't quite put our finger on the right way to talk about it. And then finally we decided, well, we'll do this, you know, three-part series. It felt too big to just talk about as an article because when you, on our, you know, Thursday podcast where we cover the four, or sometimes five top trending topics, we're touching on something for about 10 minutes, right? We're bringing, we're basically letting you know this is going on and then we're giving our thoughts, maybe sometimes some facts or information, or sometimes we choose lighter hearted articles. So we just, you get just laugh for 10 minutes or whatever it is. But we, you basically have about 10 minutes, maybe 15 to give your thoughts on this topic, this headline. And to do that with glyphosate just felt absurd. And so we we knew we couldn't cover it on a Thursday podcast. And, and even just covering it in one podcast felt too, too much, right? It's like you have people against it. You have people for it. You have such strong feelings on it emotionally. And there's a lot of science to dive into too. So we were like, okay, well, if we do this three-part series, we could, as you mentioned, bring on someone that's completely against it and really represent the side that feels very strongly that we as a nation need to move away from this chemical because it is having very detrimental effects to us. We will honor that conversation. We will sit in it for an entire hour and we will let that expert present all the different things from the emotional side of it to the science data and number side of it. And then on the flip side, the next week, we're going to follow it up and do the exact opposite. We're going to have someone who comes on and feels very strongly that this is one of the best tools we have in agriculture, that this is one of the most safest, actually, chemicals that farmers have at their grass right now. And this is what it would mean if we took it away and really have, again, that same conversation from the science and data that is supporting the use of glyphosate. And then we we ended up looping in the third episode, which was us talking about it because we thought, gosh, we're going to sit down with these two people and we're going to kind of let them dominate the conversation a little bit. Like we're going to obviously we're interviewing, we'll mix in a little bit of our thoughts. But for the most part, you're letting that person speak. And we thought, well, gosh, if we disagree, we don't want to get in an argument if we really support like we want to talk about that more. And so. We we're like, OK, for the third episode, we're going to basically give our thoughts after we have sat down with experts on both sides and say, like, who moved us, who swayed us, who had really valid points, who kind of lost us and didn't necessarily have valid points. And so it was really fun to do. 